let's read the question students which among the following is a planar molecule students in this question we are given with four compounds and we have to identify that which is a planar molecule number one is alene and as we all know that alenes are three dimensional molecule that means alenes are non planar i'm drawing the structure h h so it is very clear that this is a non planar molecule moving to next this is c double bond c h c n h and h that means this is a planar molecule moving to next this is c double bond c here are two hydrogen here is hydrogen this is again hydrogen and so it is very clear that this is also a non planar molecule moving to the last molecule this is c triple bond c one is in the plane uh, one above the plane and one below the plane this is also a non planar molecule so students it is very clear that the correct answer for this question is option number 2 rest all the molecules are non planar moving to next question students which is 77 let's read the question during estimation of nitrogen present in an organic compound by geldahl's method the ammonia evolved is 1 g of the compound During estimation of nitrogen present in an organic compound by Geldahl's method the ammonia evolved from 1 g of the compound is neutralized by 10 ml of 0.5 molar H2SO4 solution the percentage of nitrogen in the compound is student for this question first of all we need to know that in geldahl's method the nitrogen present in an organic compound is converted to ammonia which is neutralized by an acid Also, it is very clear that the milli equivalence of ammonia produced is equals to milli equivalence of acid used for neutralizing. So, it is very clear that the milli equivalence of ammonia produced will be equal to the milli equivalence of acid consumed for neutralization. So, student, it is very clear that the milli equivalence of H two S O four it is. Equals to milli equivalence of ammonia. We can calculate the milli equivalence of H two S O four since we are given with the volume and molarity of H two S O four. Therefore, milli equivalence of H two S O four is equals to ten multiplied by zero point five multiplied by two since the n factor of H two S O four is two, which is equals to ten milli equivalence. Now we can calculate the percentage of nitrogen. in the organic compound which is equals to 1.4 multiplied by milli equivalence of ammonia which is equals to 10 upon the mass of the organic compound given which is 1 g ultimately equals to 14% that means the correct answer is option number 2 moving to next question students which is question number 78 let's read the question color of the complex fecn5 nos4- formed during the qualitative analysis of sulfur is students this is sodium nitroprusside test and the color of this compound formed is violet that means the correct answer is option number 3 moving to next question students which is question number 79 let's read the question methemoglobinemia is caused by which pollutant student this is one of the easiest question as we all know that excess of nitrates in drinking water causes methemoglobinemia which is blue baby syndrome that means the correct answer for this question is option number 3 moving to next question students which is question number 80 let's read the question which compound is least soluble in water student for this question we need to know that down the group the solubility of sulfates of alkaline earth metals decreases that means among the given options strontium sulfate that is option number 4 is least soluble in water so the correct answer is option number 4 moving to next question students which is question number 81 